this question is going to be very fun to go through. It only took us a handful of games, but some fans are already calling for Jake Allen to be the starter for the Montreal Canadiens. He was brought in as a backup via trade with the St. Louis Blues, but he's put in some solid appearances so far this year. I'll even uh, bring up this comment I uh, came across uh, from the live blog, which you should be checking out on HockeyInsideOut.com. Uh, won't be long before we have another Halak situation. Uh, anyone remember this Halak guy? Anybody? Uh, anyway, uh, do you see a goaltending controversy? I can't believe we're asking this. Do you see a goaltending controversy becoming a problem for the Canadians if Carey Price continues to struggle? Well, first of all, for anybody who hasn't checked out Julian's live game blog yet, do it. It's great. You'll enjoy it. Um, is there Checks a in the mail, buddy. <laughs> Checks in the mail, right, Julian? <laughs> yes, sir. If uh, Is there a goalie controversy starting? Of course there is. It's Montreal. There's always going to be some kind of a controversy. <laughs> uh, you know, Carey Price has to play better. Um, it was sort of concerning when, when you spoke with the media uh, before his start uh, – against the Leafs and they asked him how he thought he was playing this year. And he says, I think I'm playing well. I think I'm playing good. And the save percentage was below 900. And that sort of surprised me that he would say that. Um, he has to play better. You know, the Canadians are paying him $10.5 million a year to be the best player on the team. And he hasn't been the best player on the team this year. Uh, I think, it, you know, the, Claude Julien has already shown that he's not hesitant to put Jake Allen in the net. Uh, I think a part of that is that Claude Julien has one more year left on his contract. And after all the moves that Mark Bergevin made during the offseason, if he doesn't win with this team, you have to wonder if his days will be numbered in Montreal. I think they will be. Um, so he's got to win. And uh, he's not going to worry if Carey Price is upset or that he's not in the net. Uh, and it's just a case of Jake Allen has been really good and Carey Price hasn't been really good. That's that's the honest. The, you know, that's just the honest thing. That's what happened, as you mentioned, with Halak. When Halak took over the job, he was just better than Carey Price. And, uh, you know, Halak, they rode Halak to the Eastern Conference Final. And after that season, Pierre Gauthier, the GM, decided that uh, he was going to end the goalie controversy and trade Halak and hand Carey Price the number one job. And since then, he's never been challenged again for that number one job. Now he's being challenged, and it's going to be interesting to see how Carey Price uh, handles that. Uh, he likes to be in the net. He doesn't like to give up his net, and he's, the net's being taken away from him. Uh, on games that I'm sure he would like to play. So uh, if he doesn't play better, you know, this goalie controversy is going to heat up. Well, it's been, what, about nine, ten years since the Halak trade happened. So we're due to have a goaltender controversy here in Montreal. It's been too long since we've had this kind of conversation. Mm -hmm. But I think what was smart with Claude Julien at the start of the season when he was asked a lot about how he plans to use his two goaltenders, he wouldn't say. He didn't even want to confirm who his goalie would be the day before. He said he doesn't want to give the, the other team the advantage. But I think that's good because if Claude Julien said, you know, we only see Jake Allen playing 15 games this season and then things change, then you would start to say, oh, the coach is questioning his uh, confidence in Carey Price and he's giving Jake Allen all these starts here. Uh, but you know what? If he can't, if Carey Price can't get the job done, Jake Allen's going to come into it, and that's just the reality of life. And maybe this will push Carey Price to just be a little bit better and get back to what he was doing during the playoffs in the summertime. But it is something to be considered. I don't necessarily know if it will come into a full-fledged controversy because of the way the schedule is this year. And if you look at March, they've got a ton of games, so there'll be a lot of opportunities to use both goaltenders. And, you know, and I think uh, going to the, the old school line of thought to uh, to give what is earned and not given. And, uh, you know, when you have a situation which is a tough position, obviously, to be NHL goaltender, when, when one is struggling and the other one is not, you really have to ride the, the hot hand. Uh, and Jake Allen, to me, is the hot hand. He's, uh, he's, he's playing great. And, you know, there's no reason, you know, why they cannot ride him a little bit more and have Kerry take, take a step back because, uh, according to Stu, he said that he's playing uh, quite well, but not well enough uh, in a lot of people's eyes to allow them the success that he should be bringing them. And uh, a step back is not a bad thing. He can fine tune some areas and uh, the team can feel confident knowing that Jake Allen is going to step in there and it's going to give him a chance to win every night. And uh, you got to go with that. Yeah, slow starts are nothing new for Price either. This has happened to him before. 
Uh, he's had, you know, the last few seasons, he's been up and down. Uh, he's had cold streaks and hot streaks, but in a 56-game season, they can't afford to wait and play him five games in a row, hoping that he finds his game if he isn't finding it. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out uh, as the season goes on. I think it, it's going to be – I think it's going to be the number one story with this team this season. I guess. It's just – he's the starter. He's proven – that when he's on top of his game, he's the best goaltender in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And you, you mentioned it yourself, Stu. He's had slow starts before. That's why I think I think the idea of a goaltending controversy is just a little too soon and and perhaps a bit overblown in my view. And Rick, you're absolutely right. When you have a goalie with a hot hand, you ride the hot hand. But this isn't the Montreal Canadiens team fighting to make the playoffs. This is the Montreal Canadiens team that's still near the top of its division. It just so happens that Jake Allen is playing pretty well. Just, this is just my view here. I think we can all just cool it just a bit with the, you know, goalie controversy talk. But that's just me. I'm not. I'm not an expert. Very clearly, not an expert. I'm just a guy with a live blog and a host of a YouTube show on uh, Hockey Inside Out. Now, HockeyInsideOut.com is the website you should be checking out. And uh, feel free to let us know in the comments how you feel about Perry Price. Join the discussion in the comments section below.